Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about a fragrance by the House of Guerlain. we're talking about today is Santal Royale. This is by the House of Guerlain and it's in one of those traditional Guerlain shaped bottles. I know that they make these bottles in different ranges, not necessarily in, the, in with the gold and the little, you know, tie on it, but they do use this bottle shape quite often. It is synonymous with the House of Guerlain. Guerlain is a house that, you know, has created fragrances for more than a hundred years at this point and I think everyone that loves fragrance can say that they are absolutely, you know, familiar with the house, essentially. By the way, I do apologize if you hear a noise. Uh, we live in a building that is a courtyard uh, and, and behind us by the balcony, and there's a pool there, so everyone's deciding to, you know, scream and play music at this time. So I do apologize ahead of time if you do hear noise there. We are talking about this one and this is part of their oriental collection so it's supposed to be inspired by the middle east there's quite a bit of them in here there is an oud fragrance there's a patchouli that has been discontinued but th there was one uh there's also uh, a, a musk incense you know they have everything that you know represents the middle east to them uh so this is a sandalwood fragrance as the name says on it uh but to me it's not really a sandalwood fragrance it's more of a fragrance that is kind of a sandalwood fragrance, but mostly an oud fragrance because oud is very prominent in this one. It's a very dark, sexy, sweet fragrance, um, but not being overly sweet, if that makes any sense. So it's woodsy, sexy, and dark. I would definitely, this is one of my favorite ones, and this is why I'm making a review on it because out of all of the ones in the collection, I think this is my baby. So I don't have the box to show you, but it's because it's not anything, you know, to write home about the boxes. Through a traditional designer box, you know, that, you know, you flip up and pull out the bottle and you're done. Uh, it's just matching the color of the bottle. Nothing special by any means. Um, it might have changed because it, it has changed recently. The brand is going in a new direction and they're becoming a lot more luxe as it used to be. Uh, they also have their new collections, which are like their private ones. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the art collection, essentially. And uh, I do want to try it so bad. It's just, they're so expensive. Um, and I know you guys are like, well, why are you spending so much money on like Dior fragrances? Because these are $4.50 a piece. These are three four thirty now. Um, but these are, you're getting quite a bit of, you know, ounces in your bottle. So you can justify the price because you're getting quite a bit of a, a good deal. Uh, Another one that's really expensive now is Tom Ford. I mean, are you serious? 1.7 ounces is going to be, or 50 mils is going to be $400. That's, that's berserk. So, anywho. So we're going to spray this. Your sprayer is traditional. It's not a misty sprayer. It's nothing special. Ugh, this fragrance is so good. So right off the bat, when you do spray this, you get the very strong rose in it. And then right after the rose, you start to smell the, the sandalwood, but it's a, and it's a very creamy sandalwood that's coming out essentially. So it's, it's the rose and the sandalwood, a little bit of incense in there. And then it starts to change. Uh, you get the sandalwood, but it's not the main present note. It's not at the very top. It's not that creamy. I mean, it has a creaminess, but it's not at the very top. It's not the main star of the show. The What becomes the star of the show in this one, you start to smell the oud. And the oud in this one is a very creamy oud, and I think that's because it's mixed with the sandalwood. You start to smell the peach and the cinnamon in here, because it does have peach and cinnamon. And then you start to smell that amber and the jasmine in here, for sure. So... Um, but throughout this whole, you know, uh, dry down of this fragrance, the really nice thing is that, like I said, you still get the sandalwood. It's not the star of the show. The more of the star of the show is the oud. So if you ask me, this should have been the oud fragrance with a little bit of a sandalwood influence into it. And they should have made a whole different sandalwood fragrance, but I'm not the creative director. I don't know how to make perfumes. I'm not a nose. Um, so they, I mean, I'm sure they had a reason for it. 
Um, so this one, like I said, yeah, the star of the, the show is really the oud. The sandalwood is a background dancer for the oud, but it's a terrific scent. I do not know why anyone would not have this. If you like sandalwood, if you like rose, if you like cinnamon, it's just a very sexy fragrance. It is very Middle East inspired, uh, but it's not, you know, kind of going into the gimmicky territory. I, I hate when brands will go and say, we are inspired by this part of the world, and then they become very gimmicky and it starts to smell kind of like an insult to me. This one's done very well. It's done very, you know, tastefully. It's, it's inspired, but at the same time, it's very, I don't know, it's very well blended. It's, it's my favorite fragrance out of this range. This fragrance was created back in 2014 by the perfumer Terry Wasner, Wasner, something like that. Um, and it, it's it's an oldie but a goodie at this point. I mean, not an oldie like you know back in the 90s, but you know it's it's pretty old now. It's almost hitting its 10 year mark of being created. Uh, by the way, it does retail for 260 on Guerlain's website, uh, and you do get a 4.2 ounce bottle, so you get quite a bit of juice in here. It's not the most you know bang for your buck, but it is a fragrance that you know you're going to be able to spray freely and not be like super super scared and afraid to use it because i hate when the fragrances are so expensive to the point where you absolutely adore the fragrance but you don't even enjoy it because you're like oh my god i, I can't spray too much and that's what a lot of fragrances that are you know becoming very expensive are becoming they should not be that expensive they are fragrances they are meant to be worn and i think a lot of people do not enjoy it whenever it becomes such an expensive experience um but yes this one is definitely worth the money i do think you're getting pretty good bang for your buck uh the experience is really nice with this fragrance like i said it's going to be your sandalwood with a little bit of peach a little bit of rose of oud uh it's a terrific scent i do think that they made a really great fragrance here for the house of Guerlain. What do you guys think about Santal Royale and the entire collection? I really, I don't, I wouldn't say I like it and I'll tell you why. I, I like their bottles and I have purchased almost all of them just to collect them because I think they're really pretty bottles. I think Guerlain does a great job. Um, I think they're getting better at their packaging uh, with time. I think they kind of went through that cheap phase and everything became very cheap and very, you know, plain, but now they're going back to their roots. Um, and I definitely think that, you know, their packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Have you guys seen the Aqua Ligoria bottles? They're beautiful. But anywho, um, yeah, I, I would definitely say it's worth the money. You know, you're not going to be breaking the bank here. You're getting quite a bit of juice in here for what you're paying. So your 4.2 ounces. Uh, let's see what it is in mils. 125 mils. Uh, and it's, you know, it does have the performance. That's the great thing about it. You know, you're not... I hate whenever you're, you're spending so much money and like I said, you're going through that like, oh, like guilt every time you spray it. But at the same time, it doesn't last long and you have to reapply it. That's really crappy. And Tom Ford's one of those brands, I'm sorry to say, but it is. Um, so yeah, this lasts all day. I've tried it. It's been one of my favorite fragrances. I haven't worn it much in the summertime, but it is more of a winter scent and I have worn it in the winter. Typically in the winter, your fragrances don't perform as well, at least on me, uh, but it did perform well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video about Santal Royale by the House of Guerlain. And let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, you know, comment down below what else you want to see. So thank you so much. Bye.